welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a long, long overdue review. I picked up some things from the new Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection that is exclusive to Ulta. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick review showing you kind of my thoughts on the products. Now, this line was ridiculously huge. They had so many different things. I kind of wrote down some notes. So they had a It's Bananas Brightening Powder that retailed for $30. They had a Juicy Fruit Comfort Lip Glaze. There were 12 shades for $20. They did a Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Eye Glitter. There were multiple colors of those. I believe like five shades for $22. There was a setting spray called Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray for $30. A Pineapple Paradise Strobing Powder Duo for $30. And a Fresh Squeezed Highlighter Drops for $30. So there was a ton of product that I did not pick up from this collection. I just picked up what I was interested in. The first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. Holy crap, that is a mouthful. This is what the packaging looks like. And then this is the tube it comes in. It does have a pump. This reminds me of the Hangover RX Primer if you have that from Too Faced. This product does contain 1.35 ounces, which is great. That's quite a little bit more than the standard. And it does retail for $36. Now the reason I picked this up is this foundation has some major freaking claims, you guys. It says it's long wearing, it has a dewy finish, it's hydrating, brightening, and it says hydrate and brighten your complexion with this long wearing watermelon, cucumber, and vitamin C infused gel cream foundation that covers every flaw while creating dewy, fresh, and luminous glow. Do you smooths, moisturizes, and nourishes your skin for a flawless, fresh complexion that's one in a melon, ha ha ha. Really a lot of claims. There are 20 shades, not the greatest shade range. This one did feel a little bit orange for me. This is the shade Warm Sand. I read to you is the claim. So it was a very exciting foundation because it's supposed to be full coverage, but it's also supposed to be hydrating and dewy. A lot of full coverage foundations are not dewy. They're very matte. Usually that's what I go for. I prefer to add my glow with a highlighter. I'd rather have a nice matte base. So just for reference, some of my favorite foundations are the Huda Beauty foundation. I love the Fenty foundation. I also love the OG Estee Lauder Double Wear because I'm a full coverage kind of gal. So for me, the main reasons why I didn't actually like this product is one, the intense watermelon smell. Holy crap, if you are not a fan of artificial scents, you're probably gonna hate how this foundation smells when you initially put it on. I feel like I can tolerate quite a lot, but it was just very strong. It's not my favorite scent to have like a scented foundation, so that kind of bothered me. And it definitely didn't feel full coverage for me. It felt like a medium coverage. It wasn't very long wearing. I couldn't get through a work day with this foundation on. So for those reasons, I would not recommend this foundation to you guys. I also cannot imagine having oily skin and trying to put this product on your face. For all those reasons, I would say pass on this foundation for me personally. Now another thing I did pick up were the two eyeshadow palettes. First I wanna show you guys this guy. This is the Razzle Dazzle Berry. And this is $34 and it contains 0.21 ounces of product. This particular eyeshadow palette is kind of the product I love in this collection. It has a really beautiful like plush formula which makes these like the most like ridiculously pigmented product. I was shocked when I felt this formula and it goes on so beautifully on your eyes. So it's called a plush formula. They say it's intense and creamy and provides like a buttery look, um, which is so true. The other thing is it does smell like fresh berries. So again, this scent, it doesn't last long, but when you put it on your eyes, you can still smell that berry scent. So again, if you're not a fan of scents, you might want to watch out with this one. And again, I'm worried about how this is going to work for oily lids. I have really dry eyelids, so I felt like it didn't slick, but it's such a like buttery formula. I feel like if you don't set your eyelids and you have oily eyelids, I feel like this is going to crease and just fall off your face. So just some things for you guys to be aware of. There are two matte shades and then like a satin and then these like buttery shimmer shades, which are honestly crazy. I love the compactness of this palette. The packaging is really nice and luxe. So 
I, I really, really, really do like this product and it's one of my standout products from this particular line from Too Faced. So then I picked up, because I love the Razzleberry so much, I picked up this guy, which is a sparkling pineapple. And again, same thing. It's got that, you know, extra shimmery formula. The thing with these putty like shadows is they do kind of like dip in. And I was watching Andrea Matiliano review this palette. And she said kind of how exactly what I was feeling is like, you don't know how much product you're getting because they are so like bumpy. They feel like a super shock shadow. If you've experienced the ColourPop super shock formula, you know, if you like press into it, it'll dent it. So I don't know if you can see this shade right here is has like a big dip in it, but I love the formula. It's the palette I have on my eyes today. I didn't actually get to finish my makeup this morning, but I did do my eyes and my eyeshadow has been on for like hours. This is like eight o'clock at night now when I'm filming this and I did my makeup at say like 7 a.m. this morning. So really, really like this palette as well. Now the other part of this collection that I'm not so in love with is the Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo. Now I feel like I picked this up because they had four shades and I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel like I need to try it, but I couldn't decide. And a lot of the shades were really dark too. So I don't know if you had like a lighter skin tone than me, like what you decided to pick up because I feel like these are gonna be really intense on your skin tone. Now I did just upload a Get Ready With Me video kind of featuring some of these products. So I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out how this looked on my face. And it was okay, but I don't love it. I know this is supposed to be like a strobing <laughs> type formula but i don't know like this is not a highlighter for me and i'm not gonna wear it as a bronzer or a blush or whatever the heck so not a huge fan again these also have smells this one smells like watermelon doesn't smell like cherry but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys not a huge fan of the blush it's not that i didn't like the formula or anything i just think the shades don't really make sense to me i feel like a lot of the shades are very fall-esque but then like it's like a, it was like a summer-esque release, so I wish they had done some dark shades, but also incorporated some lighter colors, um, but I haven't seen this collection in person. Maybe the other blushes are lighter and I just don't know. That's it, you guys. Just a really quick review of the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. I know I'm a little late to the party, as I always am, but these things get tested very thoroughly by me, and I just want to do my due diligence because I know you guys rely on me for that, so... Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for watching anyway, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.